Alright, what's my one Christmas finder here and today we're going to be playing some more a killing of Laura 2. But yeah, I just woke up and decided to record something for today and yeah, what better thing to record than a freaking fully upgraded fire axe. Okay, just before this video actually starts, I do want to give a massive shout out to mom. I will donate more in the future for donating or should I say pledging one dollar over on the Patreon. But yeah, mom, really do appreciate that and here is your Strasser thumbs up. Thanks for that support. Oh, and by the way, a lot of people been asking me, Pathfinder, how do I donate to you for just like a one-time thing? And you can do so with the Patreon. But yeah, Patreon is actually, you know, pay up front, which means once you do click on the pledge button, it will immediately take your money. So yeah, once it does that, you can just, you know, cancel the pledge and that is pretty much a one-time donation. Because I do know a lot of people are actually scared that, you know, Patreon is going to take the money every single month but if you just like do it for a one-time thing and then cancel like an hour later yeah it's not going to you know take the money every single month but yeah again thanks to everyone over on the patreon for keeping the channel alive and let's go straight into the video but yeah going to be playing today on rats cafe xmas which is a rats map which means the room is going to be huge and i'm going to be tiny but yeah i do love these you know rats style maps because i did play a lot of like cod modded in the past and yeah those servers had a lot of you know rats maps Wait, what the hell is this it is a freaking bottle no oh. Eyes open. Okay, apparently that counts as a collectible or as something that you can just go and blow up. Nice. Okay, elves gonna give me some free parries. Thank you very much so I can go and kill your friends with it. But yeah, what I like doing for wave one is just getting into a corner so they can just like go and hit me as much as they freaking want. And I'm just gonna go and parry them like a madman and later on just gonna do this. Okay, this is just like satisfying. But yeah, you can repeat this process as much as you want because yeah, once they're like all in a corner, yeah, they're just like easy pickings. And the thing just goes fast as hell. And by thing, I mean the wave. But yeah, as long as there's like no bloats nearby or should I say Krampuses at this point, yeah, that corner technique works quite well. I mean, just look at this, man. I mean, how can anyone go wrong with the Berserker? But yeah, a lot of people actually struggle with the Berserker for whatever reason, but I just don't even get it. But yeah, the key to the Berserker is to just, like, parry. And once you parry enough, or should I say once you just, like, parry once, yeah, you just go and whack things over the head. I mean, it's, you know, that simple. Oh, elves. Nice. How's it hanging? I mean, fair enough, you have to be a little bit accurate. But, I mean, for the most part, you don't have to be. Well, then, last dude is going to be an elf, and he's gonna get decapitated. Okay, that is one huge-ass freaking trader. But, yeah, like I said before, this map is going to be in the description. Is that a freaking plane? Okay, that looks cool. Why don't I just go sell that and buy the main thing in this video, which is going to be at the fire axe. I mean, fair enough, I can't, like, upgrade it yet, so I'm just gonna go for armor and grenades. I mean, EMP grenades, I'm probably not gonna, like, use them. Maybe for, like, husks. Because husks can be annoying. Wait, can you actually go on top of this? Oh, you can go on the freaking counter. Oh, this is just epic. But yeah, since it's, like, Christmas and shit, you're gonna see some candy canes and some lights. I just love when the map creators just go and make a Christmas themed map, man. It's just so cool. Okay, should I stay here or should I just like go down on like the bottom floor? Because I do believe they're going to be spawning a little bit more on the bottom floor. Yeah, screw it, I'm just gonna do that. Oh, and it lagged when I killed the siren as per usual. Oh, that's a stalker. But I want the Krampus instead. I mean, just look at this. But yeah, the fire axe, it's kind of like underrated. Oh, those are some rat droppings and you can move them around. Nice. But yeah, with the fire axe, even though it's a little bit underwhelming, you know, like a lot of people say, but... I mean, for the most part, it's just, you know, your generic melee weapon that you just can't, like, go wrong with if you just, like, parry and do some heavy attacks. But yeah, the way I see the Berserker perk is to just, like, go parry some dudes and they just, like, you know, kill them once you do parry them. I mean, for the most part, you don't need to parry them because they're going to be facing... You know, little Zeds that don't need parries. But for the big Zeds, yeah, parry and kill them. Okay, what are you going back with? Stupid ass Edars. I just hate Edars, man. Especially with, like, melee weapons, man. Or melee. However the hell you pronounce that shit. Cookies. Well, then Spider will just go and quickly do that and kill your friends. But yeah, in Beta 2, they actually did something for the Fire Axe, which is... 
yeah, you can now stun Zeds. It has a random freaking chance. But from my testing of it, yeah, it only stuns, you know, the Zeds. You know, the small and medium ones, it doesn't stun the big ones for some reason. And that's kind of like a disappointment. Well then, three dudes left. One's going to be a stupid ass cookie spinner, get absolutely killed. And here we have another one. But he did. Oh, and here we have yet another one. Just gonna put on some night vision and kill him. Well then, to the huge ass trader we go. And hopefully for the boss, I'm not going to be getting a stupid ass abomination. Because that's going to be sad. Well then, 3 to 1, and here we go. I did upgrade this axe two times, so this should be theoretically pretty freaking easy. But yeah, I'm kind of hoping for some flesh bones and scrakes. Because that's when this thing is going to be shining its brightest. But yeah, let's just go and kill some dudes. Oh, here we have a scrake. Nice. And he whiffed. Okay, spiders get away from me. Just gonna have to kill you before I kill the scrake. Or maybe not. Oh, what's he doing? Okay. And he's dead. Well, that took, like, pretty much no effort whatsoever. And that's why I like the Fire Axe. But yeah, I do prefer this thing over the Katana as of right now, but... Yeah, that's just my opinion. Okay, elves and stupid ass sirens go away from me. Let's just go on a freaking rampage. I just love the axe. Oh, and here we have some quarter pounds. Not entirely sure where exactly. Oh, I just stepped on them. Nice. Oh, actual flesh bones. Nice. And quarter pounds. Wait, can I just, like, push him back? Oh, yes, I can. I mean, for solo play, the berserker is freaking godlike. <gasps> okay, he just oofed his own kind. Not entirely sure why. I mean, what are the flesh bones doing? Okay. I just like parrying in this game. It's just like so satisfying when you do that like successful parry. Oh, he just got oofed. Well then, cookies, off you go. I mean, just look at this. I mean, how can you get wrong with this? I mean, fair enough, you can just like buy the Whistarader and go even more of a easy mode. Yeah, with the Fire Axe, it's kind of satisfying. Well then, 16 dudes left. All of them are pretty much going to be spiders. And let me just go and quickly wipe the floor with them. Got him. Well then, 7 dudes left. Let's just go and quickly whack him. And that is the stun mechanic. I mean, it's like pretty freaking pointless on the Zeds, but... Okay, that is slow. I mean, the only complaint I have on the Fire Axe is this like, you know, slow down when he does the heavy attack. Well then, last dude is going to be a cookie, but he did. Well then, to the trader we go, and let's just go out to fill everything, which is in this case just armor, and get this thing to tier 5. But yeah, I do think this thing at tier 5 is actually a little bit better than, you know, the bad legs. Not entirely sure. Okay, what's he doing? Okay, didn't parry him. Sh should I care about that? Probably not. But is he dead? I do believe he is, yeah, nice. Got him good. I mean, just just playing the Berserker right now, it's just like so chill. Just like moving from side to side, clicking one button over and over again. It's just chill. Oh, here we have some quarter pounds, nice. Okay, quarter pounds just get parried just like that, and I'm just gonna go and whack your tits. Okay, of course I get like some stalkers and spiders interfering. <laughs> okay, he's dead. And he just completely <laughs> whacked me because I didn't see. Okay, I do think there's like an Edar, and yep, there he is. I mean, I just hate Edars, man. And I still don't know how to like effectively kill him with this, so I just go for like the core. Or at least I try to go for the core. Well then, 37 left, let's just go and parry some spiders because that's what you do and kill him. Nice, Krampus. How didn't you get decapitated? Okay, there you go. Dude just did like a little bit of a backflip. Spider, not even gonna kill you, so I'm gonna step on you and then kill you. Sounds like a plan, I do believe it does. Heal myself up. Okay, elves, let's just go and quickly pair you because, I mean, this is what I mean with the Berserker Man. You know, just this like endless loop of parrying. It's just like freaking godlike. Okay, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more flesh bones. Oh, and there's my wish granted. Thanks, game. Appreciate you. Oh, and the flesh bound is on my ass. Time to parry. Wait, there's another one. Oh, it is. But he completely whiffed, and I just went directly into him again. Oh, whoops. No, that was weird. I mean, I killed him, but it was weird. Because he just, like, teleported, you know, through me. Oh, Fleshbound, on the attack. Do I care about you? I don't think I do. Okay. Nice. Well, then, here you have a freaking deer. Let's just go and chop him. What? How did I kill something? Okay, not entirely sure what the hell I headshot it, but... I mean, the deer is dead, okay? I mean, he doesn't do, like, that much damage, so I'm just gonna go and reset my parry. I mean, you can pretty much just, like, play around with these dudes in solo mode. I mean, in multiplayer, it's kind of, like, 
a little bit different because of latency and shit. And on top of that, in multiplayer, yeah, you can't really time your parries because ping is going to screw you over. I mean, more times than not. Well, then skip the trader and let's see what we can actually do. Okay, please, fingers crossed for no, like, abomination, man. Come on, Krampus. Dude, please. Dope, and of course it's going to be this guy, whoops. Okay, how am I gonna kill him? I don't know. I mean, as long as I keep on going close to him, oh, he's gonna bit my ass off. Okay. Okay, can you just do something so I can pat your ass? Yeah, there we go, nice. I just need to, like, watch out for my health here. Okay. I mean, I'm just, like, doing some heavy attacks and I'm just looking at my health in the meantime. Can you stop biting me, man? Not appreciated. Oh, I just need to heal up, otherwise I'm gonna die. But yeah, the key to killing the abomination with, you know, a berserker is to just not go for any melee or melee, however the hell you pronounce it, weapons. Yeah, just go for the Wisserader or just like drop in the Wisserader. Okay, what's he doing? Oh, please don't bite me again, man. Okay, he's not gonna. Nice. Why do you keep on doing that? No. Okay, once I get like his chest piece down, yeah, we should be good to go. Okay, I'm getting stuck in the random things. And he's just like sucking in elves. But yeah, the mistake I see like over and over again from players is they just don't look at their health. And you know, not looking at your health versus this guy. Yeah, it's pretty much GG. Okay, dude, time for you to get your stupid ass thing down. Yeah, there we go. Now I just need to run away because my health is a little bit low. Oh, he's on the attack. He's speeding. But he doesn't care. Oh, that's an elf. Okay, dude, time for you to get absolutely killed. But I just have to do like attacks over and over again. Okay, what are you gonna do? You're gonna puke. But yeah, running towards him, hitting him, running away from him. Yeah, that's pretty much how you handle him if you don't have anything other than a melee weapon. Or should I say, melee weapon. Okay, dude, time for some freaking EMPs. I don't even know if he can get EMP'd. Because he's just so freaking huge. Oh, I parried him. Nice, and slow motion happens, so I can just freely go and chop him up. Nice. And that's how you kill Krampus in solo, if you have nothing other than a freaking fire axe. Nice. Oh, that's a cool view. Not gonna lie. Well, then that was me playing with a fully upgraded fire axe. And is this thing overrated? Nope, it's kind of like underrated, if nothing else. Nope, I just got 920 and I didn't get any tickets. Cool. Well, then let's just go and put the shit into the vault and let's see what we can actually get. Pretty much nothing. But yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed and thanks to anyone over on the Patreon or should I say Patreon for keeping the channel alive. I really do appreciate that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a like, subscribe and see you guys next episode. Adios.